This video has been very kindly sponsored by Squarespace. Hello friends! Hi! I hope y'all are doing well, happy, whatever it is when you're watching this. So today I did a little bit of tidying this morning because I was sat at my desk working on um, some new sticker sheets and I was just looking around at my desk and I was like, boy oh boy this is a uh, mess ain't it? And so I just had to take a second to like tidy up our living room for a spell. My tea was steeping anyway, so it, it worked out. Um, and yeah, so I was working on some new sticker stuff. I, I My shop is currently closed, and so I'm taking some time to basically like, I, I'm taking this time just like, since I can't have Zoe come through to help me pack orders, um, I'm taking this time to restock on some stuff. My creativity has been just kind of non-existent in the past like two, three weeks. Um, so I'm, I'm, I can kind of feel my mojo coming back though. So I'm hoping that I can take, I'm gonna be reopening my shop at the end of April. Um, we, uh, Washington State has our like shelter in place order in effect until May 4th. And so I'm probably gonna open up my shop like at the end of April, very beginning of May. Um, and I'm hoping that I can, I don't think I'll have any new stickers, but I'm hoping that I can make some paintings or embroider some hoops. Uh, I had a very lucrative business meeting with Connor where I essentially just sort of realized that with the amount of work that I need to do this week, I can structure it so that I can work like two or three days a week and then spend the rest of the week having like fun, creative playtime, which I think will be very good for me so that I don't just spend every single waking moment playing Animal Crossing like I've been doing. <laughs> so, I, oh, uh, I do have to say though that the past, like the past two days I've been a little more distance from it because I follow a lot of Animal Crossing like Twitter accounts and some people's islands are so beautiful. It's very intimidating um, and kind of makes me feel very self-conscious about my island and my town, which is kind of goes against the whole point of Animal Crossing. So I'm trying to spend less time looking at beautiful islands on Twitter and just like relish in the joy of the game because that's what it's all about. So I did just move my house though. I like I like built a little cliff out and I moved my house up next to a waterfall. So I'm kind of like up in the woods now. I think it's quite cute. Okay, but I digress. It's, it's not why we're here. <laughs> we're here because I wanted to make um, some lemon poppy seed muffins. I've been baking a lot. Uh, last week I made, so I've been making this, um, it's from King Arthur Flour. It's called like bag of the bag oatmeal bread. Um, and I was very lucky in that I had a, before all this stuff happened, I had a full bag of bread flour sitting in my pantry. It was unopened. And so I was able to crack that open and I've been making this bread like once or twice a week. Uh, and it's sandwich bread, super delicious, lovely. But I'm about to run out of uh, bread flour, but uh, I was actually able to find all-purpose flour yesterday at the grocery store for the first time in three weeks, and so I was able to replenish my stock. Now I'm, I was in danger of running out, but now I'm no longer in danger of running out of flour of all-purpose, so um, now I can make muffins and not be scared that I'm wasting flour that I could be using on bread. So it rose a bunch and now it looks really good. So I just brushed the top with some egg white mixed with cold water. 
And now sprinkle on some oats for a nice little finish. And then into the oven this goes for about uh, 35 minutes. So it goes into a 350 oven, but uh, our oven runs, this can't be a flattering angle. Our oven runs a little bit cold, so I have to set it at 370, but let's do it for, I think it's 35, 36? And then we'll do like 33. So, bread! That's all. Bread. Excellent. But yes, okay, I need to tone down. I feel like I'm like real hype. Gotta take a breath. <laughs> I think it's all the, I haven't had that much tea, but I did have some digestive biscuits earlier, so I'm, uh, I think I'm just, I'm just all amped on sugar and tea and things. Um, but anyway, so we are making just some bulk standard lemon poppy seed muffins. Super, I don't know, they're, they're muffins. But I will read off the ingredients to you now because, um, I don't know, I can pretend that I am like, can I just pretend that I'm like a cool baking channel? Sure. So for this recipe, you will need three cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of granulated sugar. Uh, I use like organic cane sugar because I'm that kind of person. Uh, two tablespoons of poppy seeds or however much you have left in your jar if you're running low. One tablespoon of baking powder. It's a lot of baking powder. It is a full tablespoon. Half a teaspoon of baking soda half a teaspoon of salt, half a cup of plain yogurt, two tablespoons of lemon juice, one and a half tablespoons of lemon zest, two large eggs, and eight tablespoons of butter melted and cooled. The great thing about muffins is that they're pretty simple when it comes to making. Um, you just mix, you mix your wet ingredients, you mix your dry ingredients, you fold the wet very gently into the dry, and then with this one, you keep the butter off to the side and you melt, let that cool, and then once you've got your wet and your dry ingredients together, then you fold in the butter at the very end. I don't know why, I'm not gonna pretend like I do. Um, and then also, so it didn't say this in this recipe online. I will also have this recipe linked below. When I wanna bake something, I pretty much just Google it and I just find the recipe that has like the most and best reviews or if it's from a baking blog that I've visited a lot in the past and that I trust. So uh, when it comes to bread things, I just go to King Arthur Flour because pretty much like I trust them completely. If I'm at a loss for where to find a recipe, if I go to King Arthur Flour, I know it's gonna be good. I've never been disappointed with any of the recipes that I've used from that website. They also have an incredible thing called the Baker's Hotline, which I think is such a delightful invention, where you can just call or message them basically like any time of day during the work week with any of your baking questions, and they'll just get, get back to you. So if you have questions about like flour or substitutions or anything, they're, they're so knowledgeable and incredible. Just love King Arthur Flour. I love what they're doing. But, so it didn't say so in this recipe, but for apparently a common thing to do with muffin batter is to actually let it rest. So it's not like, it's not like, you know, a bread, like a yeasted dough. You don't need to let it proof or anything, but they say that you should let it rest for like an hour. That's what it says online to like let the flour hydrate. Also, sorry, this lighting is a bit, is that better? Yes. Um, so they say that you should let it rest for like an hour online to let the um, gluten relax and let the flour hydrate, which I think helps with the rise in the muffin. It also makes the batter like more kind of a viscous consistency. Again, I'm talking like I'm pretending to know what I'm on about. I don't. Let's get, I'm just, I'm gonna get my mise en place set up and then um, we can mix. Okay, so I took the liberty of whisking our dry ingredients together. Um, also, normally when I bake, now I've gotten into the habit of using grams instead of cup measurements just because they're, um, way more accurate, obviously. 
But if you are using cup measurements, um, when you're you, when you're measuring your dry ingredients, in particular flour, make sure that you are spooning the flour into the cup as opposed to using the cup measurement to scoop it out of your flour bag or container because um, if you do that, it's very likely that your flour will, will be compacted and you will not have like a true three cups of flour. You might even end up with like three and a quarter, three and a half. Um, so if you are using cup measurements, make sure you're spooning your flour, shaking it out to like fluff it up and then uh, level it off with your finger or the back of a knife. Um, but that's why IMO uh, measurements are the way to go. But a lot of American recipes don't come with weight measurements, um, which is a shame. But anyway, so I'm whisked together all of our dry ingredients. I've got our flour, sugar, poppy seeds, baking powder, baking soda, and salt in this bowl. And then um, now I am mixing together our wet ingredients, which is our plain yogurt, our eggs, which I already kind of whisked a bit to kind of break them up so they'd be easier to incorporate. Um, and our lemon juice and lemon zest. It ends up being like pretty much the juice of one lemon if you really get in there. I use one of these little guys to just like get all the juice out. Um, and I would say like a lemon and a half of zest. I also just really like it when things are very lemony. So if you go overboard on the zest, I'm not, I'm not gonna tell anyone. So, uh, okay, now I'm gonna mix together our wet ingredients. So I am throwing in our lemon juice and lemon zest and our eggs. And now we're going to whisk these together to mix them. So normally when you are mixing your wet, pretty much in baking normally, like if you're baking a cake and you're not dealing with muffin batter, which needs to rest, um, you wanna have your uh, muffin tin or cupcake tin or cake pans or whatever prepped and ready to go. You wanna have your oven preheated because once, I kind of forget what happens, like specifically, I remember Claire Saffitz talking about this, but basically once you're wet and your dry ingredients meet, um, they start to react and kind of activate and you sort of, after you incorporate them together, you don't wanna let, normally, you don't wanna let that mixture sit too long and you kinda of wanna get it into your pans and into the oven so that you can like, Get the best results again i don't know the science behind this but i do know that's what you should normally do but since we're making muffins we're gonna let them we are going to let this batter sit for a spell after we mix everything together um let me see if i can it's tricky to film in my kitchen though just because this window is so bright and i wonder if i can bring this down just a little bit to try and cut yes i feel like if i actually want to start making like I don't know, more legit cooking videos. I'm probably gonna need to like find a table that I can roll out in the middle of our kitchen uh, just because our only light source is from this way and it's, I, obviously this is my counter space. So it's tricky to film, but regardless. We, I have a spatula here, which you wanna use to fold. And so now, well actually, is my butter cool? My hands are clean. Yeah, I would say my butter's cool. You just don't want it, um, as far as I know, you don't want it piping hot. You just don't want it to cook your eggs, basically. Some recipes, you do want, um, you know, your eggs to like cook, like if you're making a meringue, um, you wanna like cook your egg whites as it's whipping to make them all like beautiful and glossy. But most of the time, you don't want your eggs to be cooked in your batter before you bake it. So, okay, let's pour our yogurt mixture into our flour mixture. Already smells lovely and lemony. And then when you're folding, basically what you're doing, again, it's hard for me to show you with the lighting in this kitchen, but basically what you're doing is that you're just kind of going around the outside, bringing it through, and you are truly just folding your wet ingredients into your dry ingredients. Um, you want to make sure that you're not over mixing. You want to keep um, this is essentially a gentler way of incorporating your ingredients so that your cupcakes don't lose structure, height. Again, I, I talk like I know what I'm talking about, but in no actuality, I really don't. But I do know that when it comes to muffins, cupcakes, cakes, anything like that, it is very important that you do not overmix your batter because then what basically happens is that you develop the gluten in the flour too much 
and it will cause your cupcakes and cakes and things to turn out very tough and chewy and not like the light fluffy um, crumb that you want when you're making something sweet and delicious. This is already actually a very thick batter. I don't know if we're... I'm gonna let it rest anyway because that's what I had planned for, so you want to make sure that you're also picking up from the bottom of your batter mixture so that way you're not getting so that way you're making sure that you're getting all of your dry spots um, because usually they will hang out at the bottom of the bowl. Now I don't have a lot of experience making muffins. I'm much more of a cupcake gal but um, okay that looks good so now came by for a quick visit and now, now he's gone again. So now we're going to take our butter, pour it in. Um, I think this will help. The batter is super thick right now and so I imagine that this extra liquid will help loosen it up a fair bit. This is for a recipe for like bakery style lemon poppy seed muffins so I don't know what incorporating the butter in at the end instead of what the rest of your wet ingredients does to the mixture but whatever I trust vlog so I'm just gonna let this sit at room temperature basically until my oven is preheated and I can grease my muffin tins so um please hold while my oven is preheating I would like to take this moment to say thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video y'all are swell I use Squarespace to run my online shop it is currently closed but it will be open again soon and I love using them they're a great platform they're super easy Loads of beautiful templates to choose from, whatever kind of website you want to make, they got you covered. They have incredible 24-7 customer support. You can customize the templates super easily. You don't need to know anything about code. Um, I have an e-commerce plan on Squarespace and it makes it very easy to run my online store and collect analytics and data and things like that. So, oh, Mr. Bumblebee's back. Hi! Hello, little friend. If uh, you've been thinking of making a website, open it up an online shop, anything like that, you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com slash Cheyenne Barton for 10% off your first purchase. Or you can use the code Cheyenne Barton at checkout. Whichever, whichever suits your fancy. So cheers, Squarespace. I appreciate you. It's always so satisfying when you make a perfect cup of tea, when like you don't have too, when like the sugar to milk ratio is just right. Um, because, <laughs> so I talked about this on Instagram, but I went on this like online British corner shop and I bought myself a bunch of tea because I ran out of my Yorkshire gold. I'm trying not to buy from Amazon at the moment. And so uh, I was trying to find other places online that I could buy it from. Um, and I found this like online little like British corner store. And so I got myself uh, the Yorkshire Golds. I also got this like Yorkshire tea biscuit brew. I posted about it on my Instagram stories and loads of British folks have come through saying that it is very good. So I'm excited to try it. And then I also got some decaf PG tips because a lot of the times I love the flavor of like tea with milk and sugar. Um, but if I do drink it past like six, it keeps me up. I try to pretend that the caffeine doesn't affect me, but it most certainly does. So I got the decaf so that way I can drink tea late at night and not have my sleep disturbed. It's very nice. Uh, I also read the backs of the box and if, I'm actually gonna, hang on, uh, give me one second. Oh my god. The back of the biscuit, of the biscuit brew box in particular is very British and so I read it in a British accent on my Instagram stories. Um, and people said that I sounded quite posh and it's because as an actor going to acting school, I, you study RP, receive pronunciation. And so that's like what I'm best at. And usually if you're auditioning for a show where you have to do a British accent, they're asking for like RP. Um, cause you know, if you're auditioning for like Oscar Wilde or Pride and Prejudice or something like that, they want you to have just like standard English accent, but I want to read this for you now because it brings me such joy um, and 
Yep. <laughs> a proper biscuit brew. Here's a miraculous tea that tastes like biscuits, because when those two flavours combine, the resulting deliciousness creates a wave of happiness big enough to power an entire human being. It's a magical mug of biscuity goodness that doesn't get crumbs on your jumper. Crumbs on your jumper. I can't believe that there are people in the world that say things like this. It's incredible. I love it. So I'm very excited to try, to try this tea. And these are the things that are bringing me joy. Um, tea and muffins, lots of baking. As I was saying, I'm getting my, oh, I'm gonna get to you in a second. As I was saying, I'm getting my like drawing creative mojo back. Uh, I've been really out of it the past two weeks, but uh, as I settle back into like a work routine again, I feel like my creativity is coming back to me. And so I'm very excited to make stuff this weekend. I really do want to make Animal Crossing fan art. I'm very scared of making fan art, like very scared of making fan art because um, the, I love the things I love so dearly and I want to do them justice. Uh, and I feel like, like for instance, Persona 5, one of my favorite video games of all time. I'm so scared to make fan art of it because I feel like my style isn't dynamic or cool enough to capture the coolness of those characters. And so I'm scared of that. And so I'm just like, well, Animal Crossing fan art will be easy because Animal Crossing is cute as can be. My art style is very cute. Surely that'll be an easy, like, leap. And yet, I'm still so scared just because I wanna... Fan art is like the one time where Fan art and like other things, of course, but I would say fan art is like the most prominent thing in my art where I get very self-conscious about doing it right. So maybe I'll try and work on these next couple weeks to let go of that. I have a 12 by 12 canvas that Connor bought me like two years ago now, and I haven't painted on it because I've been so scared about it. Um, but maybe I'll paint on it this weekend and I'll paint just some lovely, wholesome Animal Crossing things. Uh, I also want to start embroidering again. I've been, um, I've been making sure to like keep consuming a lot of art and so I can feel my inspirations coming back to me and I can feel sort of my creativity is returning to me once again. Um, Elizabeth Gilbert talks a lot about how inspiration and ideas are like living things that come that like sort of come visit you when they're ready and so you need to be ready and I feel like I haven't been prepared or ready to receive ideas and inspiration and so every time they've kind of come a knock in they're just like okay I'm gonna I'll come back later I guess because it's clear that we're you're not ready for whatever this is gonna be so I'll talk about it I'll hit you up later and I feel like now I'm finally ready that if they come a knock in I'll be like what's up I just sit down at my desk please come join me let's uh make something so that's very exciting. But for now, I'm gonna scoop some muffin batter. So excited! I love lemon poppy seed muffins. Lemon poppy seed, lemon really. Lemon in anything. I love lemon. Lemon is a flavor, it's just like, I wanna make lemon icebox cookies too. I digress. So now we're just gonna be dividing the batter. I shouldn't have let it sit in the sun maybe. That's okay. So now we're just gonna be, so now we're just gonna be letting, we're gonna be dividing the batter between our 12 muffin tins. Um, if you are a baker in any kind of like even semi-serious capacity, like say you bake a lot of muffins or cupcakes, highly recommend getting yourself an ice cream scoop. This is a, I'm trying to get it where you can actually see it. There you go. Uh, this is a size 24 and it essentially measures the perfect amount to go in each thing. So, however, this seems like way more batter than is gonna fit in these guys. So the recipe said to divide it amongst the 12. And normally you don't wanna let things like come up more than, how on earth is this supposed to be 12 muffins? Was I supposed to use like an extra large tin or something? What, what did I miss? Because this easily makes two dozen muffins. Easily. So maybe I'll just make two dozen muffins. Okay, well, yeah, this absolutely makes two dozen. I don't know what this, what this writer is on about. Oh my gosh, look how much better I have left. Okay, I'm gonna try and put a little bit more in some of these. But again, like, I don't want them to. So 
it's kind of like a scoop and a half, I guess. Or like a scoop and a quarter even. I feel like that, I feel like the person I got this recipe from was using like extra large muffin tins or something because clearly I was, I don't know what I was doing. Okay, I'm just gonna make another dozen, I guess. That's fine. I don't think anyone's ever complained about having too many baked goods. That's not true, I have. Because it's just Connor and me. Sophie can't eat all the things I bake. And now with quarantine, it's harder for me to get my baked goods to friends. Um, maybe there are folks in the neighborhood that would benefit from these. Okay. I used to work in a bakery where we would make um, basically like giant cupcakes. And so there is a chance that um, the person who wrote that, uh, wrote this recipe was using one of those cupcake tins because those are basically twice the size of these. Um, and I feel like looking at the final pictures of the muffins on their blog, I was like, these look huge and they are bakery style. So yeah, the more I think about it and the more I talk through it, it is very likely that, um, they were dealing with like extra large, extra large tins. Oh my God, I'm so excited to lick the bowl. It's the best part of baking, IMO. There's also a um, like, simp like lemon syrup glaze, like lemon simple syrup glaze that goes on this, but frankly, I can't be bothered to create a simple syrup, so I'm not going to. Okay, uh, into the oven, these go. Um, well, while I wait for these to bake, that's, all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed baking with me. I would love to make more like baking videos. It's just that my kitchen isn't very well designed for filming them. I don't know, maybe I'll need to figure out a solution. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I wanna say thank you so much to my patrons. You guys are so lovely and I just love you to bits. And um, thanks for your patience and your generosity. I think y'all are so swell. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I promise that I'm going to show you footage of the final product when they're done baking. Um, but I'm very warm in this sweater. I'm very warm after standing in the sun now for like an hour or so. <laughs> I'm going to go change into a t-shirt and get to work editing this video and doing some other things. Probably playing Animal Crossing. Most likely playing Animal Crossing. Okay. I love you so much. I will talk to you soon. Stay well and stay brilliant. Bye! to die but are you recording mm -hmm. oh yeah the muffins are very good maybe i should have put the glaze on but i'm still too lazy to do so <laughs> tea time that was a great shot thanks i'm gonna try one wait my camera's about to die and then you'll never know wait no, oh wait, no, it's good. It's not about to die. It was before. Oh. Go try one. Is this for me? Mm hmm Is my hair wonky from nap? Your hair is perfect from oh. nap. Mm. Mm hmm Could be lemonier. They're so good. Yeah. I think it's, lemon obviously is always subtle. I like it when it's really lemony. Mm. So but delicious. Good to know for next time. Anything, just any last words for the vlogo? I just woke up. Okay, great. I love you. I love you. I woke up to this. I know, what a dream. The best. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. Uh-huh. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, 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 beep,